Okay, we're here with uh, Coach Daniel Barker of the uh, West Carter Comets. Uh, so fantastic season last year. A lot of people called it the dream season. A lot of magic that happened uh, that's out there. Uh, so you know, what, what's the takeaways can we uh, uh, pull from that? Uh, I think we just had a bunch of kids that believed in what we do. Um, you, you know, that was, uh, you know, it was a long time coming. You know, we were building off of uh, what Coach Brown had done and, you know, especially the last couple teams there. And, and then, you know, from, from, you know, my first three years, you know, we told kids kind of where we wanted to take the program. And, you know, I had told them that, uh, you, you know, we, we wanted to get our program to a state championship. And I said, you know, I don't know if we can do that in your all's career or not. Uh, but they, they bought into everything and, you know, we ended up a point away uh, from, from being able to play for one. So, you know, it was, it was really cool to see, you, you know, the growth of those kids because our juniors and seniors had played, uh, you know, really, they'd, they'd always played. They played varsity ball since they were freshmen. Uh, so just to see their growth and their hard work pay off was really re uh, rewarding. Of course, uh, definitely uh, probably the biggest thing that a lot of people probably has on their mind, uh, you know, uh, losing uh, Latavius Klein, you know, a, a senior Mr. Uh, football candidate, uh, Ori Perry, uh, special teams members and everything else. Um, you know, how's the uh, team looking up into filling those positions this year? Uh, you know, you will have to, you know, kind of do it by committee. Uh, you know, anytime you lose, uh, you know, a first team All-State running back, uh, you know, that's a pretty big loss. Uh, but uh, but we, we like our running backs. You know, Cole Crampton uh, had a lot of carries for us last year. He had a lot of carries as a freshman the year before. Uh, so he's doing a good job. We like the other guys we're giving carries to. Um, you know, our receivers and tight ends are, are, are looking good and working hard. Um, you, you know, our quarterback play this summer has been, been really good. I've uh, been impressed with, uh, you know, really, really all four guys that we've had taking reps, but especially, you know, the two that we've had, you know, playing varsity and, and Eli Estep and, and Blake McGlone, they've done a good job. Uh, you know, trying to replace Ori. So, you know, it's a team, it's a team aspect. And, and you know, I know, uh, you know, I know, you know, obviously we had some great players, uh, but what we've really tried to establish is that we play team football. And, and you know, even in, in some of the games last year where, where, you know, maybe Latavius didn't have, you know, 200 yards, 250 yards, whatever he was doing most weeks, uh, you know, I think other guys stepped up. So, it'll, you know, um, we're, we're excited to see the growth of some of our players and, and, you know, see what they can do in a bigger role. So, uh, of course, last year uh, this uh, field definitely has a little something uh, special for you this year, finally being able to uh, get Russell at Russell this year. How was that feeling uh, um, after, especially the, the way that happened as well, that last minute pass and everything else? Uh, great time. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a great game. Um, you, you, you know, uh, I, I don't really think either team deserved to lose. You know, it was just a great uh, low scoring defensive ball game. Uh, but to see our kids do that, um, you, you know, for the first time to beat Russell, to beat them and have to come back to do it and have to make big plays down the stretch, um, you, you know, that means a lot uh, because, you know, at West Carter, we've always had a lot of respect for Russell. Um, you know, this is a program we've always aspired to be like. And, you know, to, uh, to get one, to get, to get our first one and, and do it here, uh, means the world to, to all of us, especially us coaches that have played at West and, and have coached against Russell. And, and, you know, we've had some close calls in, in the past, but not many. Um, you know, so to be able to, to for our kids to, uh, to take care of business and, and come from behind and win, uh, I mean, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, we try to never put uh, too much emphasis on any one game. You know, we're very playoff oriented. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'd be lying to you if I, if I said that, that, you know, a win against Russell wasn't a big deal to people at West Carter. It was. And, uh, you know, I really think it's a tribute to, to the work that our kids have put in. But that's also a tribute to, to Russell as well and the program they have and, and the job that they do here. Uh, you know, because, um, you know, everybody in all of Hill knows how good a program they have here. Um, so it was, uh, it was a great game, great feeling. So how's the uh, district uh, looking up uh, this year for you? Um, well, yeah, you know, it's kind of kind of an unknown. You know, we know Shelby Valley will be good. They bring back a lot of good players, and they have a really good program. Um, we didn't get to see Martin or East Ridge um, last year, but I know Martin County had a good team. East Ridge has got a new coach. Uh, both of them, I think, have some players come, you know, that uh, underclassmen, they're, they're moving into senior roles and things like that. Uh, you know, I think Bath County will be improved. Um, you know, they, they gave us a pretty good game, you know, last year uh, for a half. And, uh, you know, they, 
that's always been a competitive game for West Carter, so we know they do a good job there. Um, and then Prestonsburg, uh, you know, I know they've been young for a couple of years, but they are, um, you know, they're a very well coached program and we have a lot of respect for them. So it, it'll be a tough district again, you know, you're going to have to play physical football. So taking a look at the rest of uh, 2A out there, of course, uh, you know, Beachwood, you know, the team, uh, you know, ended up uh, picking up the state victory. Uh, but what other uh, teams are out there that uh, you're keep, keeping your eye out for in 2A? Well, 2A, uh, you got a lot of great programs. Uh, you, you know, uh, we, we ran into Beachwood the last couple of years, so, you know, we're always keeping an eye on them. Uh, you know, I know uh, Walton Verona on our side is always, is always a contender uh, to play late in the playoffs. Breathitt County has a great program. Um, you, you know, on, on the western side, there's uh, it's a who's who of champions. Uh, you've got uh, you got Mayfield out there. You have Somerset, Danville, um, LCA. Uh, you know, so there's some. And I mean, there's just great football programs all over 2A. Um, so you know, to make a deep run in the playoffs, you're going to have to beat good teams. Uh, but I think that's the way that you want it. Absolutely. And then, of course, uh, being here in uh, northeastern Kentucky, uh, you know, of course, you know, with our uh, squad that we had, you know, making it to the uh, semifinals, uh, Ashland went, picking up a state title, Paintsville picking up a state title, uh, and the only losses you had last year were from state title victories. How is it playing here in northeastern Kentucky? Uh, it's good football, um, you know, and we've we've done a couple seven on sevens with teams around here. Um, you know, I think uh, East northeast Kentucky football is in a great place. Uh, there's really, there's really good players. There's really good coaching. Um, you know, we all, for the most part, get along pretty well. Um, so, you know, we're always rooting for for the teams in our area whenever they're not playing us, especially when they're playing somebody that's not from here. Uh, so, just to see so many teams from around here have success around the state, um, you know, it's it, it gives you some pride. It's not like, well, there's only one or two good teams here, and they just kind of beat up on everybody. You have to play every week. There's good football. Uh, there's a good football game in this area every week. There's multiple uh, that, you know, if you're a fan and, and you didn't have an allegiance to one team, you could find a really good ball game. Uh, so that's a tribute to, uh, to really all the programs and players and coaches around here. So what's uh, going to be the biggest changes that you're going to be making from last year to this year? Um, you know, we're just still trying to trying to grow the program. Um, you, you know, I think we've got a template for what works for us. Uh, but you know, uh, I, I think you're if you're not if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. Is what Coach Moore would always say whenever I coach with him. Um, so you know, we're always looking for ways to improve or, or, or better ways to do things. Um, you know, I don't I don't think we'll look a whole lot different, you know, schematically or anything like that. Uh, but we're we're always trying to trying to you know do what's best for our team. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm sure we'll start playing games and we'll, we'll tinker with things and, and, and see what, what helps this team best, you know, be prepared to win. So overall prediction uh, for this season, where do you see your team uh, ending up uh, coming up uh, in late October, uh, hopefully going into November? Uh, you, never, you never know until you start playing. Um, you know, our, our goal every year is to play every game. Uh, you know, we try to play 15. Um, and, and you never know if you got a team that can do that or how, how your playoff path is going to look. Um, but I, I just hope that uh, by the time the playoffs roll around that we're playing our best football and we give ourselves a chance to win some, some playoff games. Absolutely. We was talking about uh, Jackson Bond. Uh, he said, I'm hoping to come back uh, by the East Carter game. Uh, how's uh, his rehab? Has he been able to work out with the team at all? Uh, he's still, uh, you know, he's still kind of with Meredith most of the time. Uh, but he's, uh, you know, we we finished up our team camp. He was there, you know, the entire time, and and he does what he can. But uh, I mean, his rehab's been great. Um, you know, I know that they, you know, they take him to Marshall some. He works with Meredith uh, just about every day. Um, so we've been really proud. You know, I was he was one of the kids I really wasn't worried about in rehab uh, with with uh, you, you know how much he likes to play. Um, I knew that he would rehab well, and, and he's done a good job. Any last uh, comments or thoughts uh, on the season? Of course, uh, also, uh, I guess we'll mention about uh, your predictions for the barrel this year. Of course, uh, uh, you know, we've talked to both teams, and, uh, you know, both of them, you know, kind of, you know, looking forward toward a good game. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you know, I can't make a prediction, but, uh, but you know, that's a big game for, for our kids and our coaches and our community. So uh, we, we want to put our best foot forward and, uh, you know, try to keep that thing. And that's usually the first question anybody from all of your grace and ask is who's going to win the barrel. Uh, so it's a big deal. It's a big matter of pride. So, um, y y you know, uh, we want to be playing good football um, in week four and, and, you know, look to hopefully keep the thing. 
Absolutely. Any last minute comments or anything else you'd like to um, address out there? Go Comets. All righty. Thank you, Coach Barker, and good luck on a great season. Right, thank you. Well, I wouldn't really call last year magic. It was just, we're, I mean, we're a good team. We're still a good team. So we're just going to keep improving every year, bringing new kids. I mean, nothing's really changed. We're still going to be making it to state semifinals and hopefully win a state championship this year. Taking a look uh, at this field as well. Uh, so how was the feeling, you know, as a team squad coming out here and uh, getting the first win against uh, a Russell football squad here at uh, Ivan McGlone Field? It was, it was amazing. We knew we could compete with them, you know, but after watching that miracle pass and we catching everybody celebrating, it just seemed like it was for real. Like everybody was excited about it. So Jackson uh, came across uh, last year. I had a fantastic football season, and then of course in basketball season against uh, Johnson Central had the uh, ACL tear. How uh, how is the uh, injury, and how's the uh, rehab coming along? Uh, it's going good. I'm doing just fine, and doctors tell me that I'm going to be back better than I ever was, and uh, I'm on pace, even a little bit ahead. So it's going good. Awesome. Uh, any predictions on uh, when you'll be uh, uh, putting on the helmet and pads uh, for the Comets? East Carter. East Carter, good game to kind of come back into and everything uh, out there. So offensive, defensive lines usually don't get a whole lot of praise and everything. But last year, of course, you know, every time you heard, you know, it was, you know, look how many yards they got. And we know that that's, a, you know, a whole lot and contribute to the offense and defensive line. So uh, what have uh, the lines been doing to improve upon, uh, you know, getting those holes opened up and uh, providing some more passing uh, protection uh, for especially a, a, a new quarterback coming in this year? Uh, we just been teaching more technique. We got a couple younger guys on there, and just, they know our scheme pretty well, and just, we do pretty good. I mean, we got an addition of a new defensive line coach this year, and he's gonna really help us out with uh, working our moves on defensive line. And when it comes to offensive linemen, uh, we're just gonna do the same thing that we did last year: add a couple new, new plays in, just same work, just different year on the wide receiver uh, points and everything else on there. How is it, uh, of course, Ori Perry had a great year last year, and I believe Eli Estep is going to be the uh, quarterback uh, for this year. So how's the uh, communication between uh, the new uh, quarterback and the uh, receivers? It's good. You know, we got a lot of, you got a lot of experienced wide receivers with us. You got, you know, when Jack comes back, you have me, Jack, Caden, Sam. You got all of us that's played, but Eli's a little nervous. You know, he has to get into the role of being a varsity quarterback, but I say once he gets good, because our connection, we've been, we've been doing good at EKU in the past in the leagues. Once he gets confident, I say he'll be a really good quarterback, just as good as Rory. Yeah, so uh, how many passing leagues uh, did you all participate in uh, this summer? Uh, three, I think, three or two or three. I know. Pretty good, we went to EKU and we uh, went three and two. We lost, a, uh, we had a couple of good games, but we we did good. We had uh, 22, 24 touchdowns. I mean, we was excited, it was good to be out there, and we just competed with bigger schools when we knew we could. Definitely. What other games are you really looking forward to? Uh, we're looking forward to all of them. I mean, no, we're not going to overlook anybody, but the ones that mean the most to us really be Shelby Valley. Even though we've manhandled them every time we play them, they just, they always run their mouth. They always keep doing stuff that, you know, just bothers us. And we just, that's one time we just like to put somebody in their place every year, and we look forward to doing that again. And can't wait to play Russell again. They think it was a fluke, and we're ready to prove that, prove that it wasn't a fluke. And then obviously the East Carter game. Absolutely. Anybody else, uh, any other comments on games or? Brown County. Brown County game one. So, so uh, how do you feel uh, taking on uh, cross, uh, well, I can't say cross county, but, uh, you know, neighboring county, uh, Round County in uh, game one uh, of the regular season? It's about time they played us. I mean, I'm not going to be in that game, but, I mean, we've tried to schedule them, like, ever since I've been in high school, and they won't even re return a call. And now they want to play us because they think well, we lost a lot of seniors. And we did. We lost a lot of people, but they forget we keep a lot of dudes. And I'm looking forward. I'm not going to be able to play in that game, but I'm looking forward to watching my boys uh, beat up on them. Major goals, personal goals that you'd like to have uh, coming into the season. We'll just kind of go around the horn on here, and uh, you know, what, what would you like to personally uh, do uh, this season? Well, I mean, we're a team. Really, personal goals don't truly matter. I mean, really, I just look for the win. I mean, that's it. That's about it. Personal goals, they're nothing when it comes to the team. Yeah, it's, like, it's like me. I don't have a really personal goal as a team. I just want to show everybody that, that we're West Carter and that you know you got to put some respect on us, and that I think we're just ready to ball out this year and prove everybody wrong. As a team, I think we're looking forward, forward to proving that last year wasn't a fluke. Everybody thinks that was just a once-in-a-generation team, and it was a great team. It was our best team of all time. But uh, we keep a lot of people, and we're ready to prove that we're not just, you know, 
some regular average team again. We're still good. And uh, personally for me, I just like to get back to 100% and back to what I was last year. And if I can do that, then we'll be all right, or I'll be all right. Same thing. Uh, so uh, I seen you talking to East Carter just a little bit ago and everything. Uh, so what's your expectations this year? Do you think the barrel is going to be staying in Olive Hill or do you think it's going to be traveling across county? No, oh, the barrel definitely stay in Olive Hill this year. I, for, I know for a fact. We're just the better team. Yeah, that's why I think that we'll be staying. We're all confident. You know, we're all ready from last year. We'll just, we'll just prove it again, I guess, and keep it. We're definitely confident we can beat them. I don't think I've ever played against an East Car team that I've ever been afraid of or thought that I was going to lose. I mean, they're definitely the number one team that we never overlook. We never try and overlook them. No matter how much we think we're better than them, we always want to come in there and give them our best game because there's no, I don't want to give them any chance of trying to beat us, but uh, we're, we're definitely uh, very confident in that game this year. I'm extremely confident too. Like you said, I've never been scared of them or, I mean, scared to play them. Uh, they've never been anything that I've seen that's super special. Just, you can't overlook him though. I just want to give a shout out to the NWO created by Harley Estep. Yeah. We don't get the respect we deserve and that's what we're trying to prove this year. Respect on the NWO. <laughs>